Okay, I'm holding my camera because I don't feel like pulling out my tripod and all that stuff. I just left the salon and I want to show you guys fresh from the salon install. Hair has not been styled, but this is the before. This is my hair. This is the installed hair. I'm back. I have some hair. Some luxurious curly hair. And I love it. I love it. Okay. So, this is a second install of the ONYC Kinky curly Mongolian hair. Um, I'm getting a foot cramp right now, so bear with me. Or oh, is it like a Charlie horse in your foot? Oh, that is the worst pain. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my hair. It is the same identical hair that I have in my other video. ONYC Mongolian Kinky. And I want to share with you guys what my um, routine is on maintaining this hair. Okay, so this is what I do. I take my whole hair in the morning. For some reason, this hair, I can't just wake up in the morning and just style it around my edges without really touching this hair like put a little sheen on it it doesn't work for me maybe there's another routine out there that I'm just unaware of I've tried to um, pull my hair all the way up in a bun let it down in the morning that doesn't work because I have the big ring going around so it leaves an indention in my hair right there I've tried to just Take the hair in two sections, put this section up in the back, and take this and put it up like this in the back. That works a little, but it still doesn't work a lot because when I take the hair down, this is bent in this way and this is bent in that way. So that doesn't work for me either. The best option for me where... Some, now sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm thinking it must be the way I sleep. The best option for me is to um, just tie down my edges. And just tie down my edges. Put the scarf like this, obviously. And just tie down my edges. And then put a silk bonnet on my Mongolian hair. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And when I said that works, I mean as um, what I have to do in the morning. So it still has shine, luster, it is entangled and all that stuff. That's what I mean when I said that works. Okay, also I want to mention, this is how I work with the hair. We all have different techniques that we use, but this is just my own personal opinion and routine of the hair. I just want to get that out. Okay, so... In the morning, what I have to do is take all the hair in my bathroom sink and put it underneath running water. You can do it in the shower or whatever, you know, hold your head back in the shower. What I try to do is not let the water get on my braids unless I want to do a full wash. I just wash my hair um, when I got this installed a few days ago so there's no need to get my braids wet and I just figured wetting your own natural hair and then just letting the air dry is like what's really the point so I try I don't get my braids wet unless I'm doing a full wash all the way to the scalp which I usually do once a week anyway so once I get my hair from underneath the faucet and when I do that, I try not to wet my hair, which is to right here. I try not to wet my own hair, and I'm going to tell you why. So what happens when I put my hair under the faucet, it only gets wet, as far as the Mongolian hair, up to this point. Because I don't want to wet my own hair. I dry it off, towel dry it off. I 
take about a quarter size of this and it seemed like I do something else. I take a quarter size of this, but this morning I mixed it with something else, I thought. Maybe I didn't. But this is the organic. Oh, I did. I did. Hold on one second. I, mi I knew I mixed it with two ingredients. Hold on one second. Okay, I knew I mixed this with something else that was the same color as this. So, I took a quarter size of this with a quarter size of this. This is um, replenishing hair milk lightweight hair lotion frizz free for moisture and shine by palmers i want to say i got this from walmart hmm. and it is pure coconut oil so it smells like this with the coconut and what i did was um mix those two together in the palm of my hand i took the hair and did a section in the back and I put half right there, did another section, and did the other half. And then I paid really close attention to the ends once I did the sections. Because for some reason, um, the ends frizz up more than the root for this. Um, this is just me. Um, after I put that in, I took my um, wide tooth comb and I ran it all throughout the hair. When I comb my hair and it's a sewing, I just don't go like this. I have to hold it. I don't want all that tension on my braids. So I just ran it all through, got all of the um, little pieces of hair and all the little tangles out, threw that away, obviously. Once I, did, once I finished doing that, I took some water. This is just water. This is just a bottle that I use and I just put water in it. I took this and I sprayed this on my natural hair and also on the Mongolian hair that did not get wet that's closer to the roots and sprayed that all over. I really don't drench my own hair. I just wanted to get the curl pattern that I want if you can see that. So I really don't drench my own hair. I just need it to be moist enough so I can add this to it. This is um, Ampro Clear Ice. 99 cents. Every beauty supply store I've went to, this is 99 cents. And it's clear. What I do with this is take my finger, scoop some out. Hmm. Like this with it would be one more use for me. So I don't know how much that is. Maybe two quarters or a quarter. Put that in my hand. Rub it on my hands like this. And go like this. Then I take some more. And put it on my edges. And I pulled my hair up. You can see I have a barrette. I take a little bit of this hair and pull it up because it's really not that much. It's only this much hair that I have pulled up. But when it's up like this, you really can't tell how much I have pulled up. Let me turn around. You really can't tell that it's only this much. Once I... No, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. Eep. Go back. Go back. Once I put this on before I pull my hair up, I put Chi Silk Infusion in my hair. And I do the same technique that I did with these two. Part the hair. Put some up there. And I have to use a quarter size. When I part the hair, the part that's down is getting all of the Chi Oil. I'm making sure it's in there. Let the hair down. Put another quarter size of this in here. And when I put this in here, I do run it across my hair as well. Just one time. When it's all over my hair, I still take some more of this. Just a little bit. Maybe a dime size. Take all my hair 
and just put it at the ends because for some reason you see how the ends look these ends will dry out before anything else with the hair so I want to make sure that my ends don't look brittle dry hard and the rest of my hair is like silky shiny so I focus a lot on the ends I'm losing a piece of hair right here focus on um, the ends as well then I pull my hair up um, after I do that and I want to say maybe it depends on what I'm wearing today I have on a, a white tank and my hair is kind of on the tank a little bit so what I did is took my blow dryer on high low speed and did like this I didn't just let my hair blow away. I held my hand like this so my ends my ends can at least be dry before I put my clothes on. The worst thing that would happen is you have on a shirt, you go out with your hair wet, whatever's in your hair gets on your shirt and you're walking around all day with stains on your shirt. And God forbid if you color the hair, you know how sometimes you color your hair and you rinse it or you put water on it, the color kind of drips a little bit you don't want to take any chances at all so I just did this and it only took maybe 30 seconds it doesn't take long for the ends to dry this can be wet that's fine as long as my ends are dry because I don't want that leaking onto my shirt and I just did this at the very ends only and voila I would have showed you guys um what I did as I was doing it this morning but I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I need to do is use more of this like I did today and start um, incorporating this in as well. So this must really work. Frizz free because I have like no freaking frizz. And it's so manageable. It's so soft. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So I want to show you guys my um, hair routine. If you have any comments questions inbox me or just um leave the comments below in the um comment box but um i love it this o n y c hair is so much easier for me because the straight hair i'm all natural with the straight hair it's getting hot it's getting humid i was getting so sick of keep bumping these edges because the edges were swelling up so every day, every other day, I was finding myself pulling out the chi iron and getting my edges. And with this, I don't have to worry about putting any heat on my